tens of thousands of civilians fled to southern Gaza city of Rafah ahead of a threatened Israeli ground offensive. As Palestinians mark the anniversary of their Nakba or catastrophe of 1948, during the war that accompanied Israel's creation, around 760,000 Palestinians fled or were driven from their homes and many took refuge in what would later become the Gaza Strip and the West Bank. Nearly 450,000 Palestinians have been displaced from Rafah since May 6, and around 100,000 from northern Gaza, as UN agencies said. That means around a quarter of Gaza's population of 2.4 million people have been displaced again in about one week. UN Chief Antonio Guterres repeated his call for a humanitarian ceasefire to allow more aid into the besieged territory. Guterres retreated his appeal for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire in Gaza and for the release of all hostages. The UN chief also called for the Rafah crossing to be reopened immediately and for the unimpeded humanitarian access throughout Gaza. The war and siege have triggered the humanitarian crisis in Gaza, with the UN repeatedly limiting aid restrictions as famine stokes the north. Since Israeli troops moved into eastern Rafah, the aid crossing point from Egypt has remained closed, and the nearby Shalom crossing in the Israeli-occupied area lacks safe and logistically viable access. Qatar, which has been mediating peace talks, said Gazans have not received any aid since May 9, which exacerbates the rough situation they have been going through since the beginning of the genocide.